So we're here at the Moikau Summit um, 2018 in December, and I'm talking to Natasha, who came from Kenya to be a part of the Women's Moikau Summit and Clinch Boot Camp. And you've had one fight, in, right, in yeah. Thailand. Earlier this year in June, I was up in Chiang Mai training at Hong Tong Muay Thai. Yeah. And yeah, I had my first fight. And the first time that we came in touch with you was you were like, I'm coming to Chiang Mai. I'm only going to be there for a week or two, yeah. right? And you're like, I want to fight, right? So yeah. you flew in there, trained hard, and Joe gave you a fight, right? Yeah, so actually one of my friends, um, Leonard, he moved from Kenya more than 10 years ago, and he lives in Bangkok, and he's fought people like Sitichai, um, and he's just fantastic. So he used to train with Joe Hong Tong. Oh. Um, so he was like, you've got to go check this gym out, and, and then I saw Sylvie's video on it as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and it just had a really good vibe about it. Um, so yeah, we picked that gym, and trained for about a week and it was kind of cool because it's a very clinch friendly yeah Moy Cow Joe's a great Moy Cow instructor one of the best Sylvie's yeah. trained with and so you had that grounding experience it's not like you were coming to Thailand cold turkey yeah but what I'm interested in is what were your expectations coming to this because I think anyone who came to this on the first try not knowing fully what it was going to be was is incredibly brave and very cool yeah like I, every single I one of you was super nervous like I was thinking about coming back for another fight this year because I was like I want to get one in before the end of the year oh wait um, one second we have some He's kind like, of dessert thing on? maybe it's ice cream or something um so yeah. you were thinking of coming um, back yeah so i definitely wanted to come back i mean like after you have your first fight you're just like you step out of the ring and you're like i want to do it again that's how sylvie was yeah she didn't even know Straight she was gonna away. fight yeah 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 um so i was like at least before the end of the year like i gotta get it in and i've been training hard for it and then this is all the way from kenya though yeah so you're we, in kenya and you're like i gotta get yeah. back to thailand because we don't have any fight scene back home yeah um they're starting it up now but not there isn't much like hardly any girls to fight um, yeah. so i'm like if you want to get the real experience come out here totally um so but so, you yeah. when you thought of coming to the moy Cow summit you didn't know that we were going to have a fight on the car because we didn't yeah. know either yeah so i mean then i saw so my whole plan was okay i'm going to come do this and then i'll fit in a fight and maybe go back to chiang mai and mm. try and get joe to hook me up with a fight then very cool and then when sylvie was like we're gonna have a fight night i was like oh my god <laughs> So, it was made in heaven. <laughs> honestly. Um, so yeah, so that was like fantastic. Um, it was just like everything came together. But what was your, well, maybe what you expected is what you got also. Or was it, oh, was it, very, has it been I, very different? So I was like super nervous about it. Like, you know, you kind of get, get the idea in your head. Um, and then when you finally like pay the deposit and commit yourself. Totally. And then it's like, oh shit. <laughs> you no, know? no turning back. And then you start training. Well, actually I got really busy. So I, I didn't get to like really commit to training oh. before coming out here. But I'm like, it's okay. You're going to get here and just go. For it right um so i mean and then of course you like stalk all the other girls on facebook and <laughs> see what you can find out um so yeah it was like intimidating but then the second you get here and you start training and you honestly all the girls are like so genuine everyone's at such a different level in training everyone has their own style of training so it was really like it's just i think we got like lucked out with like the group of women the group um, of women are really just, good yeah it's like you know, you think like, okay, maybe there'll be like one or two, but everyone is like awesome. Like everyone just like, it's it's just fantastic. And how is the training program? Like this is our first time doing it. So we had to kind of invent the program. Yeah. It's pretty hard physically, right? If someone's yeah. thinking, like if we do another one of these, what would you be saying about, hey, you're coming, what do you, what, do we, what, do, what would they expect or experience? Um, yeah, so like, I mean, I messaged you yesterday saying, you know, I, I think I was like, it was like sort of getting to me like, you know, there's, it, it's just so packed in, like you wake up, you're like, there's, so if you want to do extra stuff like sparring or, you know, go for the run, you have to find those like little bits of time in between. Well, and there um, feels like there's no time. Yeah. And it feels yeah. like, like today we got up at six o'clock, went for an 8K run, got a coffee, had breakfast, trained for two hours, got back, ate. Then I think we had two hour break yeah. and then four o'clock back here to spa. Um, and then summit for another two hours. By the time we get home, it's like 8.30. By the time we eat, 
We're in bed at nine and then you are asleep, wake up, do it again. And a big part of our training is tons of clinch. Yeah. So have you ever clinched so, for long periods of time like that before? No, so like at home we, we hardly clinch. Um, like honestly, we, we just don't clinch. <laughs> okay, to be truthful, and it's, yeah. and it's yeah. very like basic stuff. And I mean, my coach is great. Like he's taught mm. us a few of the like tricks and stuff. Totally. Um, but you don't really get to clinch in this intensity. So I think the first couple days, my yeah. neck was like, what is going on? I try to warn um, you guys to get yeah. the neck strengthened. It's oh, so painful, I, I, right? I tried to do all those things, but like it, you just it have doesn't to prepare dive you. in yeah. and just deal with it. But after two days, all this that that pain's gone. Yeah, like I don't get any. Oh, of that. that's pretty good, yeah. actually. That's so I was good. like, and I'm finding, I'm like, oh, I can do stuff. I can do stuff. Things are working. And it, when I, do you think that is? We were just talking yeah. about this today. Sylvia and I were talking about it too. Every single person is progressing so fast. We've never seen. Yeah. We've seen a lot of people training in Thailand. We've been here six years. We've never seen any one person progress this fast, and yeah. everyone is progressing. What do you I'm, think that is? It's like information overload, but I, I don't even know if it's that or if it's just like we're, we're getting so much and even like I mean the drills we do yeah. it's like those five minute sections but I think it's just that constant clinching 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 yeah I think clinching. it's the time you're doing because I find myself like okay I remember I learned that thing let me wait let me try it but it's not like you're even overthinking it it's just yeah. sort of happening to you totally like I was sparring just now and I don't know what happened I was like mounting someone and we haven't learned it or we haven't like it just kind of happened you know wow wow um, that's kind of cool yeah. and, and Sylvie's like yeah yeah and I was it's like I don't ever know how I'm doing this and then <laughs> it was like it's it's just like some kind of superpower was like kicked in <laughs> that is really um, amazing yeah so I I think it's just maybe the structure or how it's so intense or just like so much technique being thrown at you and everyone sort of finding like what works for them because and the fact is that you clinch with like so many different people I'm never with the same person yeah. so you're forced to like keep kind of doing your thing finding what works for you oh, this is the, this is the truck of everybody pulling Hello. up. We're in the middle of an interview. Doc my bar, Karahat, Saifa, Thai champions. This is the truck from the hotel. It's about a 10 15 minute drive. All the awesome ladies. All the awesome ladies. Sao Sing. So, um, there's a lot of bag work also, yeah. mostly repetitive bag work, yeah. um, knees and teats. What would you warn people about? Um, so it's, you know, when you do bag a lot of the time at home, it's very like, but this is really like manipulating the bag, really feeling it, really mm. like just everything. I like, I like how Sylvie keeps saying, you know, when you do something, you do it like it's gonna be that knockout knee or that, you know, everything has that mm. force. And, um, and that, so that, that I really enjoy because you get used to that just throwing that power in. Right. Um, There's a kind of skill involved in how to really work the bag. Yeah. And what's like, kind of, go ahead. Oh, I was saying South Sing was telling us like sort of how you stomp into it. Like you stomp and you see when she throws that knee, she's really stomping her other foot and just like punching through it's incredible. She's amazing. Right? Like just to, and that's the other thing. What did tell me around. tell me about this about oh. you we're you're clinching with Thai, some of the best female fighters on yeah. the planet. Chom Chomini. She was like you know she's the sweetest girl. Yes. And then and even in like when we were clinching she was just like it was very much like you do it to me you know she just wanted to teach you and teach you and teach you and it was just like fun and playful but still like that control was there and yeah, these yeah. Thai oh, they're just fantastic and it's like they just they just want you to learn and they just want to like push you right and yeah. each one with their own little style teaching yeah, or so or going for it in yeah. a different way yeah it's very it's kind of cool so I'll probably be we're about to start our evening session I'll probably interview you again so we can get your perspective maybe up at cams or something like that yeah. but thank you very much awesome. thanks guys